summer has come and passed The innocent can never last Wake me up when September ends Like my father's come to pass Seven years has gone so fast Wake me up when September But never forgets what I lost Wake me up when September ends That is such a pretty song. It is written by Billy Joe Armstrong from the group Green Day. Hi, we're Robin and the Giant. Welcome to Notables, the well-sung heroes of songwriting. And today we are focusing on Billy Joe Armstrong. He's a singer-songwriter with the group Green Day. Billy Joe Armstrong was born on February 17, 1972, in Rodeo, California. <laughs> you know what? That is the same year that I graduated from high school. Yeah, we're getting older, Robin. <laughs> Billy is the youngest of six children. His father was a jazz musician and a truck driver for Safeway, and his mother was a waitress at a restaurant named Rod's Hickory Pit. Billy's dad, Andy, died of cancer when Billy was 10 years old. Billy's mom, Ollie, raised him and his five older siblings. Billy started singing when he was just five years old. He would go around to hospitals and sing to the patients to make them feel better. And then he got to record his first song. It was called Look for Love. He recorded it at a local recording company named Fiat Records. Billy got his first electric guitar, the infamous Blue, for those fans of Green Day. Blue is a Fernandez Stratocaster, by the way. He got that guitar when he was 11 years old, and in fact, he still uses blue to this day and has several replicas of that guitar. <laughs> By the way, remember we went to see Green Day in concert? I think it was in Jacksonville, wasn't it? Yes. And he invited a young man up from the audience to play the guitar. It must have been a thrill for that guy. And the young man played the guitar for one whole song, mm -hmm. and at the end of it, Billy Joe told him he could keep the guitar. <laughs> and isn't that awesome? That's what makes Billy Joe and Green Day special and endearing. <laughs> Billy was 10 when he met Mike Durnt in the school cafeteria in 1982. During sleepovers at each other's houses, they played songs by old heavy metal musicians in bands like Ozzy Osbourne, Def Leppard, and Van Halen. Are they old? Ah, yes, they're older than us. <laughs> Billy Joe wrote his first song. It was called Why Do You Want Him, which was a song about his mother and his stepfather when he was 14 years old. At the age of 15, Billy, Mike, and a drummer named John formed a punk band and named themselves Sweet Children. Their first gig was actually at Rod's Hickory Pit, where his mom worked. One day before his 18th birthday and halfway through his senior year of high school, Billy dropped out of high school, which was Pinol. Valley High School, maybe it's pronounced Pinoli, to devote all of his time to the group Sweet Children. In 1990, John left the band to attend college. Billy and Mike were faced with the task of finding a new drummer. They knew the perfect fit, Trey Cool. Later, Sweet Children was renamed Green Day. Before they knew it, they were traveling all over the country in an old bookmobile with Trey's dad at the wheel. They did all this with little money and staying at fans' houses. It was in Minneapolis in 1990 when Billy met Adrian Nesser. They dated for a while, and then they were married on July 2nd, 1994, in a five-minute ceremony the day after their wedding. Adrian found out that she was pregnant. They uh -huh. had a son. His name is Joseph Marsicano Armstrong. He was born on March in March of 1995. Three years later, on September 12th of 1998, another son was born. His name is Jacob Danger. And today, Billy, Adrian, Joseph, and Jacob all live in Oakland, California. 
The refreshing sounds that Billy Joe Armstrong has contributed to our musical landscape is undeniable. That is why we have chosen to include Billy Joe Armstrong among our notables, the well-sung heroes of songwriting. We're going to end with another Green Day song, another song, of course, written by Billy Joe Armstrong. This is called Good Riddance, The Time of Your Life. <laughs> I'm grabbed you by the wrist, I 